Well, minority communities, especially the Latinx community, have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. Now, researchers are determined to make sure those most at risk are part of the effort to fight the deadly virus. And joining us now to discuss the COVID-19 vaccine trial and how it's directly affecting the Latinx community is Dr. Katia Carrado, investigator at the Lundquist Institute at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here. And let's start because you are in, with that investigative team at the Lundquist, uh, Lundquist Institute that is leading, leading phase three of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine trial that we all know was paused because one person the participant had an adverse uh, reaction. So it had to be paused. Where are we? Can you give us an update? How soon might that thing get going again? So as with any trial, when there is a serious adverse event, the trial is paused. The pause allows the investigators to fully understand if that adverse reaction was due to the trial, was due to an outside event, or due to a pre-existing medical condition. So not only our site, but all the other sites in the US are working very closely with AstraZeneca and the FDA to see when it is safe to open again. So as of right now, we don't have an open date quite yet. Uh, and tell me how critical it is. Um, do, or do you worry about a vaccine trial that does not include enough members of the minority groups that are so disproportionately uh, impacted. Tell us why it's so important to have these minority groups a part of these vaccine trials. If we don't have a presentation of the Latinx or black communities in our vaccine trials, there will be less confidence of how that vaccine works in that population. As you know, uh, COVID-19 has disproportionately affected communities of color. And so it is so important to have these communities represented in the vaccine trials so we know exactly how they will respond. Do you have the representation you want in this particular trial that gives you confidence and also explain why it's been historically so difficult to get minority groups involved and as participants in some of these trials? So we can't not ignore or we can't ignore the complex relationship that exists between communities of color and the medical community. Historically, there has been a lot of misunderstanding and has been a lot of mistrust, and that is understandable. Part of that, I believe, is because there has been historically lack of representation of people of color in leadership positions, in positions like uh, investigators like I am doing myself now. And so it is of critical importance of someone like myself, a Latina, to be part of this so I can reach out to my own community, speak to them in English and Spanish, explain why the trial is so important, and to calm some fears. So that is why we're trying very hard for this particular study to have involvement of communities that are most at risk. And hey, ma'am, last thing I have to ask you, we just had Governor Lamont on from Connecticut and of course we had Governor Cuomo here in New York to hear Governor say that we we're, once these trials are done and once these vaccines are approved, we're going to put them through our own process. <laughs> now to a citizen that might sound like, wow, they're really making sure it works, but it could cause a delay. But you also mentioned the idea of a mistrust. When you hear that states are now going to go back and do their own work on top of the work you're doing, good idea? I think it's always a wonderful idea to make sure that something is safe. I do understand that there has been a lot of fear about the term warp speed and um, a lot of fear that we have been cutting corners. What has been actually happening is that the vaccine has been working through the phases it has to work through just like any other vaccine. So we've gone through phase one, phase two, and now in phase three is when we examine if the vaccine will be helpful in the population that needs it most. So I understand the fear, I understand the concern. I think everyone should look at the data if possible um, and make the decisions. We believe that we're doing the work appropriately and we hope that the community also believes that. Dr. Carraro, thank you so much for the work you are doing. I know you all have been at it. Everybody wants this vaccine and you're going at historic speed really in doing so, but you're not cutting corners, but so good to have you. I hope we can, uh, we can see you again down the road here, okay? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, have a wonderful day. All right, you too. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.